So my idea is what I'm calling a coherence check. And it introduces these four characters, the exclamation mark, uh, which means coherence, the upside down exclamation mark, which is an I for incoherence, capital I maintains coherence, and the X flips coherence. Now in pr pr propositional logic, you've got truth tables to test the you know the validity of, of your your shortcuts to make sure your shortcuts are valid and so here I'm making for modal logic a, 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 a coherence check to test the validity of a of a very complicated claim like this one here uh, um, possibly uh, possibly not necessarily possibly possibly not possibly necessarily P like what does that even mean uh, and a thing to, to bear in mind is that possibly it's not about the chances. It's not, it's not like uh, there's a 50% chance um, not necessarily. Well, that would be, you know, again, uh, you know, an 8% chance that there's a 1% chance that there's a 90% chance that, you know, it's not about chances. It's about what's coherent. So all we need to do is just check what's coherent. Now, I can tell you just by seeing that there's two knots, I can't... Uh, uh, I, there are two knots, so they cancel each other out, because not not cancels each other out. And then I just look at the last one, necessarily. I know that it's uh, the answer is going to be necessarily P. But that's just a shortcut, and I need to prove it, that that's uh, the valid answer. So the first thing I do is I break it down into diamonds. So the diamond becomes a diamond, the knot stays a knot. Necessarily, translate into diamonds is not possibly not um, so yeah then possibly uh, not possibly and then again necessarily is not possibly not P so I've done that and now it's time to do my coherence check so I put the exclamation mark to test for coherence if it's coherent on the other end I should get an exclamation mark uh, if it's not coherent I will get the upside down exclamation mark which is the I for incoherence. Okay, now the first thing I do is I eliminate uh, the double negation because double negations. All right, so I get rid of that. And for every uh, for every uh, other not coherent, I put an X. And for every coherent or possible, for every diamond, I put an I. For every, right, so I put I here. Double negation, so that's gone. So I'm left with another diamond, that's I. Now I have not diamond, so I put an X. Then I have a diamond, put an I. Not diamond, X. Not diamond, X. And then I have this not P left over. Now I check for the coherence. Start with the droplet. And it goes I, I. It goes down the X, across the I, back up, and back down. So my droplet ends up here. And then we check for the dot. The dot goes across. It goes up, it goes across, it goes down, and it goes back up, and it ends up here. So I have an I, which is incoherent. So the, the end of the story is incoherent. So incoherent, not P. And of course, now we'll go back to proposition normal standard propositional logic language, which is n it is not coherent that not P. And then of course you know that not possibly not equals necessarily P, and there's your answer. That's the answer I said we were going to get, necessarily P, and that's how I proved it. Now for the phrase in question, possibly necessarily P. I know there are no knots, and I go look at the last one, Necess it should equal necessarily P, but I'm going to prove it now. So the first thing I do is I break it down into diamonds, so it's possibly not possibly not P, and then I take it for my coherence check. So the first thing I do is delete double negations, but there aren't any, so that's fine. Uh, for the not coherent, I put the X. For the coherent, I put the I, the capital I. And uh, and then I have the not P left over, and then I run the coherence. My droplet goes here, whoop, and ends up down here. My dot, whoop, ends up up there. So incoherent that not P, and as we know, incoherent not, not P means, back in the language of uh, modal logic, um, not possibly not P, which equals necessarily P. 
P. So possibly necessarily P equals necessarily P.